Nancy Armour, USA Today Sports Pyeongchang, South Korea, way to take a stand, International Olympic Committee. The IOC made the brave, bold decision Sunday morning not to give Russia its flag a name back for the closing ceremony, continuing the punishment for a state-sponsored doping program that was as brazen as it was widespread. But in that unanimous vote, the IOC membership also said Russia's suspension should be lifted as soon as possible because Russia has shown such a commitment to ending its dirty ways. Of the four positive doping tests so far at the Pyeongchang Olympics, two were by athletes from the supposedly squeaky clean Russian team. One of those bobsled and Adishdar Sergeyeva had earlier this month appeared in a video wearing a sweatshirt with I don't a doping emblazoned on it. If that isn't a middle finger to the IOC and all the athletes out there who resist the temptation to cheat, I don't know what is. The IOC will puff out its chest and pat itself on the back for taking a stand against Russia, banning its Olympic committee from these games and forcing the athletes who could prove they are clean to compete as Olympic athletes from Russia. But this was never anything more than a farce, and Sunday's compromise only cements that. So the Russians won't have their flag at the closing ceremony. Big deal. Unlike the opening ceremony, the closing is a free-for-all, one big jubilant mosh pit of athletes letting loose now that the competition is over. Russian flag would barely be noticed, and the same goes for its absence. Russia is still flouting every ideal on which the Olympics is based, and by lifting the ban so soon after the Games, the IOC is saying it doesn't care. It's a horrible message to send to clean athletes, and it is not being received well. Already, US and Czech biathletes have said they will boycott next month's World Cup in Taiwan, Russia, with Canada and Sweden also expressing reservations. In support of clean sport and our own physical safety, we cannot in good conscience participate, the US biathletes said in a statement Saturday night. But Russia won't have its flag for the closing ceremony. That'll short each EM, asterisk 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 follow USA Today sports columnist Nancy Armour on Twitter at nrema.